What's up everybody, back with an Idol Survivors video and in this one, I'm a little upset here, I'm sure you saw the game mail, explanation of watch skill, I'll cover my thoughts about this, but I definitely feel this has to be addressed, I owe it to the community, I mean I owe it to myself, I'm a player affected by this as well, but hopefully this video will bring more awareness to the topic, let's get it. <laughs> First off, I gotta get this off my chest right away. The compensation, it's terrible. I'm okay with the weekly redemption codes or the odd code that shows up usually for a holiday giving small rewards, but this compensation based off an issue that was in the game since the start, but we were told wrong information and then we got this. That's unacceptable, here's the message. Dear Commander, recently we have received questions from some of our loyal commanders regarding the watch skills. I see watch discussion in the official Idol Survivor Discord all the time, and when I first started this game, I wanted clarity on descriptions because like other things in this game, it's plagued kind of funny since the C version is Plague Invaders, but it's plagued with translation issues. So let's look at an orange watch while we're talking about this. There are skills like the cell for team buffs such as this one, Blessing 3, at the beginning of battle increases death. This effect is unique and only the highest value is taken. This is clear, I understand this, I'm sure everyone else understands this. This means if your other watch had Blessing 2, which is the lower value, only this value of Blessing 3 will be counted. Then you have other skills such as debuffs like healing reduction, basic attacks have a chance to decrease enemies healing received. It also says it doesn't stack. So even if you have it on the other watch, whether it's 2 or 3, it just takes the highest value. You can't stack them to make the percentage chance better. Where the confusion comes into play is for the attributes, such as this one right here, Affinity 2, increases healing effects by 20% in battle. You were never able to have the same watch skill on one watch. Like if we do this as an example, you can see when I try to recast the skill, it gives me this message. But since the beginning, everyone who asked was told that these will stack if you have one on one watch and one on the other, because nowhere in the description does it say it doesn't. I can pull up chat logs in the Discord, I can show the Idle Survivor VIP WhatsApp responses, um, etc. But you can search it up if you want. I don't want to put blame on the community manager or community admins. All they're doing is relaying information they are given by the devs. The devs are the ones who made the game. They should know how their own game works. So please, I hope no one is giving the community representatives a hard time. But many, myself included, would be running double affinity watches on our healers or say double crit on our DPS so we can have over 50% crit chance. But what this mail is saying is currently, the numerical effects of watch skills do not stack. Wearing watches with the same skill will only activate one set of numerical effects. This is a massive mistake they made right here. I don't understand how the devs took this long to correct their initial statement. Looking at the compensation, 100 diamonds, 5 tickets, and 1000 recast potions, I feel this has to be a joke and better compensation is coming. If I were to tally up how much of these recast potions I have used since I started playing to build up double watches to stack watch skills, it will be well over 250,000. So who exactly is this 1000 for? To recast an orange watch, it costs 500. A red watch costs 1000. And don't even get me started on platinum as there is two versions. Super Fighter watch takes 1500 at 90 for that recast crystal. Futuristic watch takes 2000 at 120 for that recast crystal. So basically it is 500 potions and 30 recast increments. So for me, since I only have red watches, that's 60,000, and for the top of the line futuristic watch, that's 240,000 recast potions. That is so much, and many players, myself included, have wasted resources because they were told the wrong information by the devs who were supposed to be giving the right answers. Once you get stuck in Alien Campaign, you get stuck hard. It takes significant improvements to your hero or heroes to make it past that stage, I've been stuck here in chapter 31 on 18 for probably a month now. It's a nightmare. Warlord just one-shots my backline, Coral does her usual insane healing, and you also got Imperial Warrior and Dr. Smart doing their thing as well. So how do I get recast potions then? Well, you can buy the campaign pass, which actually did recently get a buff alongside the Skyscraper faction and the activity pass. These were positive changes. Very happy about these and much needed because uh, before they were very underwhelming. I don't want to get too sidetracked here, but just a quick example using the campaign pass, stage 2 now gives platinum watch shards and 5000 recast potions, before it only gave orange watches and 4000 recast potions. Stage 1 of the pass now gives red watch shards 
and 2,500 recast potions compared to before. Once again, it had orange watches and then 2,000 recast potions. But anyways, if you are stuck, you're not going to be getting those free tiers. And if you're not buying, you're obviously not getting anything from here either. So what you're basically left with is going to the discount shop and refreshing till you see the recast potions for a minus 25% discount. Anytime I get a new watch or I want to try my luck, I'll snag these up as you can get 5,000 for 375 diamonds or 10,000 for 750 diamonds. Point is, it takes a lot of time, takes a lot of money, takes a lot of diamonds, takes a lot of watch merging to build your watches for not only your core 5 heroes, but if you want to get technical, you'll need 30 watches because of the 3v3 in this game, both Star Arena and Guild Clash now. So the compensation, it's bad. What exactly is 1,000 recast potions going to do for anyone? Plus the fact the message is still confusing. I find it a little bit funny, a message to explain the problem only leaves you confused still. Thankfully there's more clarification in the Discord. You can see here by RFHF, very helpful player. They should have just said none of the watch skills can be stacked. But also even if you're using different affinities or levels, whatever you want to call it, it still doesn't stack. Nothing stacks since the beginning. It's not like this was implemented in the recent update. It's always been this way, yet they gave us the wrong information. What I hope they do is obviously give better compensation, update the watch skill description so no new players make the wrong assumption, and it would be nice to either do some sort of event pass uh, for watches that include recast potions and the different quality of watches that both free-to-play and spenders can participate in, or increase the value of the discounted recast potions that I just showed you that you get in the shop for diamonds, whether temporarily or permanently. All the players are playing catch up now, myself included, but I don't have the resources at the moment to change my watches around because I used everything. Hopefully this brings more attention to the topic because they have responded with changes in game based off player feedback before. We're just gonna have to wait and see. As always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one.